My name is Sierra Yates. I live in Fayetteville and my chosen artwork is The Bubble, sculpted by Harriet Whitney Frischman. This sculpture can be found at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, just 40 minutes from my house. Harriet Whitney Frischmuth was born in Pennsylvania in 1880. When she was a teenager, her parents divorced and she moved to Europe with her mother and sisters. Frischmuth studied in Paris with Rodin and then studied in Berlin with Utrez. This time in Europe led her to become a strong proponent of the Beaux-Arts style and later led to her dislike of modern art. She came back to America to study in New York at the Art Student League of New York under Gutzon Borglum and Herman Atkins McNeil. She was an assistant to sculptor Carl Bitter while in New York and also enjoyed performing dissections at the College of Physicians and Surgeons. In 1910, she received her first commission for a sculpture. She started by modeling ashtrays, bookends, and small figures, but as her career grew, she became well known for her sculptures of females in bronze, especially dancers. Her smaller works often went on display for museums while her larger works were mostly centerpieces for gardens. The Great Depression caused her to have to close her studio in New York in 1930 and return to her hometown. One of Frischmuth's larger pieces, The Bubble, depicts a lithe dancer holding a beautiful bubble in a pose that gives a sense of motion. This piece exhibits asymmetric balance. Rather than having balance and harmony because the piece is symmetrical, this piece finds balance in its asymmetry. The dancer is standing on one foot with the other ray, still having a sense of balance and harmony but lacking in symmetry. The contour of the dancer's body is very naturalistic. It can easily be seen as a real woman. Her body shows the natural lines and curvature of a dancer's graceful body. The contrast between the light of the bubble and the dark bronze of the sculpture guide the eye upward and cause a sense of lift as if the dancer could leap at any moment. Throughout the history of art, women have been depicted as childbearers and mothers. Frischmuth, however, depicts a woman who is an artist herself. She is an artist in the style of dance. Her graceful hands and the curvature of her body create a sense of motion of the dance. Male artists give women subjects a sense of sexuality or motherhood. They are created in a way that makes a man think about women in a way that relates to sex or childbearing. Although Frischmuth's dancer is naked, it isn't a sexual kind of naked. Frischmuth's dancer is an innocent kind of naked. The kind of naked that doesn't lead one to sexual thoughts, but rather pure thoughts. Your mind goes to the motion and dance rather than to the absence of clothes. Because Frischmuth was a proponent of the Beaux Arts style, her sculpture is very naturalistic. Beaux Arts is a style that comes from a prominent art school in France, L'Ecole des Beaux Arts. Being located in France, Beaux Arts is heavily influenced by European styles. As can be seen in the bubble, there is much influence of classical Greece and Hellenistic Greece. The classical Greek sculptor, Praxiteles, sculpted women and influenced the style of sculpting the natural shape of women such that the S shape created is often called a Praxitelean curve. He sculpted women in a naturalistic way as exhibited in his work, Aphrodite of Nidos, just as Frischmuth does here. The movement depicted by the dancer's body in the bubble is more influenced by Hellenistic Greek. Hellenistic Greek sculpture depicted more movement of the body than that of the classical Greek. This is evident in battle scenes depicted in sculpture created during the period. Using the curvature of the body, both ancient Greek artists and Frischmuth create a sense of movement. Her use of bronze is also similar to sculptures from Hellenistic Greece, such as the Boxer, sculpted by Museo del Terme. While evidences of both classical and Hellenistic Greek influences can be seen in this sculpture, it cannot be categorized as either. During her time, most of the art world around her was entering into the style we know as modern art. Artists like Picasso were becoming more popular and their styles gaining momentum. However, Frischmuth was quite outspoken about her distaste for modern art and held fast to her Beaux Arts style. For the most part, her sculptures can be categorized as Beaux Arts style. To me, this work of art is one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. I enjoy not only looking at it, but thinking about it, allowing it to take me on a trip down memory lane. I used to do ballet and recently had to give it up to focus on school and work. I love dance, especially ballet, and it was one of the biggest influences in my life as a child. I competed and danced in recitals, and it was my outlet to express myself. This piece of art captures the beauty and grace of a dancer and makes me remember how much I loved dancing and loved exhibiting the beauty and grace that dancing inspires. For me, this piece speaks to a small girl living in me that longs to dance. It inspires me and brings back some of my favorite childhood memories. This piece of art might just be a random girl holding a bubble to some, but to me it is the embodiment of the grace and beauty that I long to achieve as a little girl.